Hello, the emissive map, how to create the emissive map or to bake it. There are two ways or yeah, perhaps even more. Uh, okay, Nomad's Cult here. This is such a emissive map. It's here in the materials, it's applied on the object like this. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I delete everything. And exposure. And uh, I turn off the post processing, okay. Now, let's add a sphere. On this sphere, um, I turn on the wireframe, we can use multi-resolution, subdivide the mesh a few times. And let's paint on this. I create a layer for the paint. like a face and <clears throat> for the emissive map it's good to yeah um, create a clone of this and on the, I hide the first mesh and on the clone here's the color and we can apply um, a new layer and this layer we fill with the color black paint all and we create a layer above this layer and here we need the color pure white And the black layer we can reduce a little bit to see to see our color underneath and switch back to the white color layer. Paint is all so active. And now let's paint the emissive. Emissive is uh, the white color and black is not emissive. Okay, and let's bring back the, the black. The color layer we don't need here. We can delete it. And the, the object has a UV map and we can now bake this UV map. It's in the topology menu and here you can texture bake. You can do both ways from high res sphere to uh, low res, but in this case we bake here in this point from itself. And now when we go to the materials, textures, here we see um, the black and white color texture and this one we need. And you find this texture here when you go to files, nomad, folder and here's a TMP folder and there you find the textures here 
This is a sphere one color texture. Okay. And this we can use it as emissive. But we need it on the other mesh. We hide this one and we, we don't need it anymore. And here we can use now the emissive map. textures and load here the, the color map as a emissive map and here you see it. Now it's possible to change the color and the in intensity here can use the slider. In the material settings, uh, or no, not, not the material settings, in the post-processing, you can use also the bloom, the bloom option for this to, yeah, to create a, a nice bloom effect. Yeah, you can play around with it. This is option one. And the next option is to create the emissive map with Procreate. Uh, sorry. Let's delete this. And you have to bake your, your color or, and from, bake your texture, bake it. And then here in the material settings, you find your color texture, this one. And now go to Procreate or other painting app and import from the files, nomad file folder, TMP and textures and import the color texture, this one. Then you can create a layer above this one and you can reduce here from your color layer, the, um, the opacity, and change your background to black. And now do the same here. Um, I use a monoline, white color, and create an, a new layer, it's okay. And here you can, I think it's too much. <laughs> um, Let's use uh, an airbrush like this and here paint this one and now hide your color layer and export this as a JPEG, save it. Go back to Nomad Sculpt and here press Emissive Photos and choose this one. And here you can change the color and the intensity. You see here the, the bloom effect um, or the glow effect. And when you use post processing, you see such uh, nice neon lights. Yeah, and then occlusion, not the bloom. Here you can change the bloom. Okay, you can play around with it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.